Hello my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. And today's message, what we're going to be going over, what we're going to be going over today is, I want y'all to start making yourself a priority. What do I mean by that, right? I mean, when you step out, right? And a lot of the things that's going on in your life right now, you're being blessed. You have a lot of blessings coming your way. You have a lot of prosperity, a lot of abundance. A lot of miracles are happening in your life right now. And so I'm talking to the people who overextend themselves to those who they love, overextend themselves to people. I'm talking to these people today. And so in understanding that that is coming from a place in your heart of where you genuinely care for people and you love people. Understand that not everyone has the same heart as you. Not everyone thinks the same as you. Not everyone moves the same as you, right? And so a lot of you guys have been delivered out of these situations where you had that mindset of which you overextended yourself because of that nurturing energy that you have. You genuinely, you genuinely want to help people. You want to see people win. But today's message is to start making yourself a priority. OK, I'm not telling you not to help. I'm not telling you not to go out and, and bless others as God has blessed you. I'm telling you to start putting yourself first on this list. Sometimes, you know, you got mom, you got dad, you got um, friends, you got family or you got whoever you have on your list. Right. You got your, your sister in Christ, your brother in Christ, whoever it may be, strangers, whoever it may be. All I'm saying is when you go down that list. You go down that list and you don't see yourself first on that list, that's a problem. I want y'all to start making yourself a priority. I want you to be number one on that list. If no one else make you a priority, I want you to make yourself a priority. Do you understand me what I'm saying? When God sent these blessings your way, man, at the end of the day, it wasn't for you to give all of it away. It was for you to be wise with these blessings, right? Because you learned your lessons of what you went through in the past. Help people, but make sure before you help people that you yourself are in a good space to do as such. Do you understand what I'm saying? The only way that you can do that is if you start focusing and putting that focus on you, making yourself a priority. Let me tell you something. When that money come in, we going to spend it on who? On thyself. I'm not telling you to be selfish. But I'm telling you to have boundaries, to make yourself a priority before you do anything for anybody else. There's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. When that money come in, spend that money on thyself. Go get you a new suit. Go plan you a trip. I don't care if it's by yourself. Go get your hair done. Go get your nails done. Beautify yourself. Do whatever it takes to make you feel good about you. Y'all know I'm big on this self-love movement, man. If no one else give you your flowers, right, go buy yourself some flowers. That's right. Go get yourself a whole bouquet. Don't play. Make yourself a priority. I'm trying to tell you something. Because see what happened with these people, man, who always have their hand out? Mess around and get broke and try to pull a them on them. Mess around and get yourself in a real tight space and pull a them back on them. What I mean, some of these people who probably had a handout try to over-exaggerate the situation of what they did for you. Oh, man, you know I don't really get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I had to go ahead and scrape this up and restart this and boot this up and ignite this and all this and rah 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 but at the end of the day when they came to you when you ain't never come with all that you ain't never even throw it threw it back up in their face but as soon as you ask them for something they got to bring up what they did for you watch these people be aware of these people be aware who of people who try to set limitations with you when you ask them for something, but when they ask you for something, they don't want no limitations. When they ask you for something, they want you to give it full fledged. They want to put, they want you to put your all into it. But when you ask, oh well, you know, I go ahead and give you this, but listen, let me tell you something. You gonna get fifty on on this day, then you gonna get fifty. Don't ask no more than no fifty, cause you ain't gonna get no more. But when they ask you for something, they don't want you to limit them. Watch and be aware of these people. 
Because I'm trying to tell you something. When you get in a bad space and you try to go ahead and pull them back on them, this is what they're going to tell you. Oh, man, you know, you ain't really have to give it to me. I mean, you you know I'm not in no position to go ahead and give you no money back. I always got my hand out. But see, if you ain't have it, I'm just going to go ahead and ask Billy. Now, if Billy didn't have it, I was just going to go ahead and ask good old Sally. Now, if Sally didn't have it, which that's rarely, that's ever, 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 ever happened to me, I was just going to go ahead and ask Richard. Now, worst case scenario, I was just going to have to wait till I get paid. So when they come to you, this is exactly what you say. Well, I guess you're just going to have to wait till you get paid then, right? To these people who bring up to you what they do for you. To these people who try to set limitations on you. But to the people who help you go out, probably help you more than you've ever helped them. Keep these people around you, man. These are godly people. These are people who are coming from a space in their heart where... No malintent, no, no, you know, doing things for their own benefit, for their own gain. They actually love you the same as you love them. But still, all in all, even with, with these people, with anyone in your life, learn how to make yourself a priority. Put yourself first on your list. Put yourself first before anything that you do. Make sure that you good. Make sure that you happy at the end of the day. Make sure that your mind right. Make sure that your heart right. Make sure that you're feeling good before you try to go and help and overextend yourself to other people. When that money come in, spend that money on thyself before anyone else. Okay? Not telling you to go out and never help no one or not do for people. That's that's not what I'm what I'm the message. The message is before you do that, just make sure that you've done everything that you wanted to do before you try to go and help people. Make sure that your rent pay before you try to go and pay somebody else's rent. Make sure that your bills and everything up to date before you try to do that for anybody else. Make sure that you got clothes in your closet before you try to go ahead and build somebody else's wardrobe up. Make yourself a priority. I'm telling you, you're going to start feeling good. You're going to start feeling good about yourself. That's what I want you to do. I want you to start feeling good, looking good. I want you to be good. Okay? Y'all already know, man. We ride together. We slide together. JC game for life. You know that you got a friend in me. You know that you got a sister in me. You know if you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, you got it in me. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed, my divine kings and queens. I love y'all.